Good morning, guys. MC Procrastinate here for another two minute video. It's part of a two minute series. If you don't know what the two minute series is about, check the video link below and you'll find out all about it. Topic of today AI in motorcycles. So, when we talk about AI, we're talking about artificial intelligence. So, let's have a quick look at what's going on in the world with AI. We have many manufacturers of motor vehicles, not just motorcycles, motor vehicles, specifically cars, um, lorry manufacturers even ship manufacturers that are investing in self-drive artificial intelligence to manage the components, the functionality, the movement, the direction, the navigation, etc., etc., of these vehicles. So what does that mean for motorcycles? Well, I found an article, and by the way, I'll put images up and I'll put links in so that you can go and have a read in your own time. But Yamaha have produced a prototype vehicle called Yamaha Motoroid. And the Motoroid is loosely based off the technology they've been experimenting with from the Yamaha Motor Boy. Now, for those of you who don't know what Yamaha Motor Boy is, it's basically um, a robot that's been designed solely to ride the Yamaha R1M in, uh, on a racetrack, and it's done it extremely well. So, the next thing up, I guess, is you remove the robot component and you merge the technologies into the bike. So, what are the features? Well, look, it's quite loose, all right, but the context is a little, the concept is a little bit like this that the AI will inherently be a part of the motorbike. One step closer to symbiosis, so in other words, an amalgamation of the two working in harmony together, um, where the motorbike takes control of you know, the elements such as safety, uh, navigation, being able to recognize the driver, user, rider, whatever, um, start the bike up, lift up the stand, drive over to the user, etc, etc. And look, <laughs> you know what? This is like futuristic stuff happening right now. I'm not sure how long it'll take before these things actually come to fruition. Five years, maybe ten. But it's quite amazing. And of course it doesn't stop there. You look at, um, I think this came out maybe a year, year and a half ago. BMW's Motorrad Nix 100, the statement was, this bike will be so safe that you don't need to wear a helmet. Well, I'm pretty sure the guys might have it nailed down when it comes to the bike being able to ride and drive and navigate and avert disaster. But what about all these bloody big flies to have the potential to whack and take you out. You know, like a big bumblebee smashes you in the face because you aren't wearing a helmet. Anyway, jokes aside, then we look at Honda. So Honda released again about a year, year and a half ago, the bike that can stand up on its own using the um, inertia from centrifugal force of the engine to keep the bike standing. <laughs> So they're also vested into uh, artificial intelligence and that kind of whole interaction between rider, bike, automating, safety, blah, 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 blah. Kawasaki, they're doing it. Uh, I haven't found any specifics on what Kawasaki are doing, but the long and short of it, and this is it, the long and short of it, guys, is that artificial intelligence will be here it will be on motorcycles and it will make a big difference whether you or I want that because there is nothing better than inherently jumping on a bike and feeling free let me know your thoughts guys MC Procrastinator out